It's August the 8th and we're at Tarrant Rushton and this is a memorial which we're going to be finding more, more about. The airfield ceased to be used in 1980 uh, but one thing that remains from the wartime is a very large hangar. This memorial was initially built before my parents moved here in 1984. My father was part of a group of airborne ex-soldiers who revamped the site about 1986. He decided the steps needed to be shallow and wide to allow three across to help assist an elderly comrade to lay a wreath. The airfield was built during the war for clandestine use away from general surveillance. Its use by Special Operations Executive would have been for long distance large aircraft use, possibly Polish and Czechoslovakian operations, not the small Lysanders which took one or two to France from grass airstrips. On D Day, gliders were taken across to northern France, towed behind Lancasters. Being on high ground helped. Interestingly, the Royal Navy plaque is a surprise as RNA, RNAS Yeovilton is only 30 miles northwest. This is one of the four hangars, which has six doors on three sets of rails so that they open out beyond the edge of the hangar itself. and have floodlights on either side. Floodlights. And um, the... Um, on the extreme left. That's one floodlight, and then we're on the extreme left, yeah. Uh, we have the uh, fittings for telephone wires, I suspect. And this would have been... Uh, um, now, I've seen a Lancaster at RAF Coningsby. And that would be certainly adequate for Lancaster, and possibly too wide, it's, uh, isn't it? I think you push one in forward and then push another one in, in reverse, so you get two of them in there. Um, note the pedestrian door in the larger one, so it can be uh, sealed up against the weather and still have access without moving the main doors. These are the runners. And that's the next one. And then the third one's invisible because the door is on it. I see, yes. Okay. Yes, I see. Um, so we've got outer, inner, and then the third one. Quite elaborate. And above. Oh, and that's what that sort of superstructure is for the for the runners. Oh, I see. Yes. To the door for the doors to move beyond the walls of the hangar. Yes, quite an elaborate affair. Yeah. So this is Tarrant Rushton Airfield from a web page, and the point where we were, the entrance here, where the where the bungalow is. Is just on the corner of that road there and then control tower is here control tower and obviously the runways and things and any dark spots there and there are hangars and it does say that um, you can cycle around it um, the periphery of it. I'm not quite sure whether that means across it. Take the bikes up there, have a go. And here's the hangar with the Second World War aircraft. Uh, far be it for me to say what it is. Um, it's not quite a Lancaster I don't think but it could be.